Kahalayim Yahawa Bahashem Yahawasha Bahashem Harakak Wadash. That's that's uh giving all glory, honor, and praise to the Father Yahweh through His Son in the name of His Son Yahawasha and the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the apostles, elders, bishops of Great Millstone who rule well over the flock of Israel. Shalom and salutations to the brothers out here that's pushing the words of truth and sincerity. Shalom to all the elect, Akima, Akwa, scattered Israelites, Israelite foreigners. I brought this out this video, is that a fine of a Ma? <clears throat> and you see the title um, of this Colossians, the second chapter, starting at the first verse. It gives it the title, You are built up in Yahweh Shah. We built up. You know, we are edifice, we're uh, built up, we're, we're made strong, we're a building, all right? You can't walk up to a building, huff it, and puff it down. You're not going to walk up to a building and punch it down. Uh, you're not going to think it down, all right? So there's strength behind this building, this edifice, right? There's a foundation there, which the building is built upon. Hopefully, it's a formidable rock solid foundation where when elements or when the bad weather comes it doesn't knock down this building um Yahweh is known as the rock he is the ultimate foundation and this is dealing with your mind right you build your mental uh fortitude you build your mind you build your worldview you build your belief system all right everything that what you believe Thoughts that come through your mind have to pass through and check whether they're valid or invalid based upon your uh, your foundational belief system. And so it's very much a building at the end of the day. And so the scriptures plainly tell us, ye are built up in Yahweh Shah. So he is our foundation in which we built upon. Now, I'm going to read Colossians 2 and 1 out of the NLT. Let's learn more about this building in Yahweh Shah being built up in him. Paul says, I want you to know how much I have agonized for you and uh, agonized for you, the church at Laodicea, and for many other believers who never met me personally. I want them to be encouraged and knit together by strong ties of love. I want them to have complete confidence that they understand Yahweh's mysterious plan, which is Yahweh Shai himself. So this truth that we've come into um, calling our truth, calling our, you know, core belief system, our foundation in Yahweh Shai is the mysterious plan of the Father. You see? So they're one in the same. As in Yahweh Shah is the Father's plan. And it's a mysterious one because anything that's a mystery is hidden to the common eye or hidden to the average mind, hidden from um, normal beliefs or understanding, right? Hidden out of the way, not commonly understood. And so it's a mysterious plan. And the plan happens to be Yahweh Shah, believing on him, being built up in him, right? Being restored through him, being atoned, him being the ultimate atonement for our sins to turn us back and get us in good graces, adopted back into the favor of the Father, Yahweh. And when we are adopted back into Yahweh's favor, plenty, many pleasures, promises, Gifts, mercies are bestowed upon us. Grace bestowed upon us. Salvation for his elect bestowed upon us. Understanding, stability bestowed upon us, man. And so now we have a con not just a, a knowledge of the Heavenly Father's will toward us, but a complete confidence, man. And the word confidence we always bring up with faith. With faith. Faith goes also hand in hand with loyalty fidelity is is faith all right and so we have complete trust you can throw that word in there in the plan of the heavenly father which is yahweh 
that he's going to send his son the second time and those who believe on him will be delivered and saved in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, in him lie hidden all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And we do understand, you know, that we liken this word, this truth, all right? The body is filled with treasures. The church is filled with treasure, all right? These are all hidden treasures because, again, it's a mysterious plan of the Most High and he has to show you these things. And he set up prophets in these end times to warn us. He set up teachers in these end times to show us, lead us into them treasures, that treasure chest of wisdom and knowledge. And why wisdom and knowledge? Why not um, actual money? Why not like, you know, lottery numbers for the future? Because this place shall be consumed with fire. And the Lord doesn't want us to heap up treasures that where moth and rust, rust doth corrupt. He wants us to heap up treasures where thieves, thieves can't break forth and steal. And since these treasures <clears throat> are actually linked to our stability, Isaiah 33 and 6. Therefore, now we can remain, remain steadfast even through trials and tribulations, even through persecutions, which we know are coming in the time of Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Revelations uh, 2 and 10 and 3 and 10, hours of temptations that will try, come upon the whole world and try them. All right? Being persecuted, um, put up in prisons. Um, all of these trials that come upon the saints in these end times, the ones that believe, we have this knowledge and this wisdom to keep us stable through those times. We have faith. We have confidence in the Most High's mysterious plan. And the plan involves, I shall give you an expected end of peace and not of evil. So we can expect to make it through these perils coming. It says, I am telling you this so no one will deceive you with well-crafted arguments. And you need the love of Yahweh Shem Shah in your heart, so to speak, right? It said being well knit together with this love this is the love that the in the mercy that the heavenly father has showed toward us to let us know his plans so that we can lock down solid now again this is a building and Yahweh Shah is that building that is that rock that we're built upon so if the rock is, is a formidable right enemy of and bringing the rock himself bringing in uh, this new world Right, the rock himself is which the, is he whom this new kingdom will be built upon. Then we we can endure, we can go through it, we can be chastened, knowing the end, having confidence in uh, that rock. Right, and these well-crafted arguments, man, these enticing words. The KJV says, "You got to watch out for them, man. There's so many." You know, and you can click all day long, right? There's a gift and a curse to having internet access, you know. The truth came by way of, you know, the internet for many. And so did multiple lies for many, you know. More more deceived in this world than led down the path of truth. It says, for though I am far away from you, my heart is with you, and I rejoice that ye are living as you should, and that your faith in Yahweh Shah is strong. So you got to be strong in this truth. You see how brothers from great distances, it's almost like it's still we in the same body. <laughs> and that's what it is. It's a house. It's a building. And we're all in the same one. How'd the Lord be able to do that from great distances? Because we were rejoicing at the same things. We're living as we should. And we have the same faith in Yahweh Shah. That same strength of faith. Right? And these videos and these shows go forth like trumpets. When you hear a trumpet in the distance, it heightens your emotion. 
right? One way or another, you hear a drum or a loud noise, it, it changes your own um, emotional state. So these trumpets going out from brothers in these various camps, these candlesticks being put out, all right? Are like this word, is the same as this word going out and building us up. We're all throwing in those logs in the fire, so to speak. We're all building on this foundation, which is Yahweh Shah. Now it says, freedom from rules and new life in Yahweh Shah, right? And this is kind of, you know, going into a different topic. So, uh, I'll leave it at that, you know. Abarath is out of this video. Is that a fine? Until next time, Shalom.